It must be so hard for sanitation workers, construction workers, and engineers to be working during the summer in the morning, facing that unbearable heat. A lot of people pass by those hard workers and do not think that they are doing anything worth praising. Well, they're wrong. Those people are in direct contact with the sun that numbs their brain, and some of them actually faint from dehydration. Whereas, there are those people who go to their air-conditioned offices, which provide them with a decent and tolerable working atmosphere during summer. Our hero of the video today is Charlie Pavaromo and his wife, Velvet Pavaromo. God bless his soul, he was a gentle and noble man who had enough kindness and generosity to spread around those who needed it the most at that time. Charlie Pavaromo realized during summer mornings the unstoppable sweating of the sanitation workers out there in the heat. Of course, he was aware that they were not the only workers struggling in that weather. They struggled hand in hand with the construction workers and the engineers. So, the man decided to help those poor local hard workers to ease their struggle in that intense season in the year. He went to the kitchen and took plastic cups and a jar of water and then he returned back to the workers and made sure they all drank enough cold water. When Charlie saw the workers' gratefulness and appreciation, he decided to fill the store's cooler with water bottles, which would be available to them any time of the day. Charlie had a big heart indeed. Not only did he fill his cooler with water, but he also filled it with juice and food too. He sympathized with the sanitation workers in particular and wanted to support them during their long working hours and give them motivation. What is more, sanitation workers were not the only ones who got the good opportunity of being pampered by Charlie's good deed. However, firemen, engineers, police officers, DPW employees, and construction workers came along to drink some cold, fresh water. I can feel how thirsty those workers must have been. Summer is growing more intolerable every year. I'm serious. We need to save the planet because the global warming is responsible for all of this. Unfortunately, the cooler was not found this summer. In other words, Charlie had a heart attack and passed away three months ago before summer came around. While his wife was mourning, she totally forgot about the cooler and the water bottles which her husband used to bring to the local sanitation workers every summer. But the woman was as merciful as her husband. As soon as the weather started getting warm, she remembered the cooler and the water bottles. Thankfully, it was not too late to carry on her husband's generosity. Even though Velvet Pavaromo was still grieving, she headed to the store and brought out the coolers, which she placed inside many water bottles like what her husband did. She was keen on doing the same exact things he did when he was alive to keep his well and kind reputation after his death. You did the right thing, Mrs. Pavaromo. You kept your husband forever alive for every thirsty worker who passed by the cooler and drank some water, certainly remembered him and prayed for him. The workers noticed a note on the cooler in which Velvet broke out for them the sad news of Charlie's death at the age of 57 on the 10th of March, and she explained to them that she would continue what he did and provide them with enough cold water. The workers grieved as well for the loss of Charlie, and they decided to repay his generosity and thank his wife for her humanity. They went to Charlie and Velvet's house one day by the garbage truck, and they all stepped out of it, including the driver too, in order to express their condolences to Velvet. They all stood in one line and saluted the house and Velvet as an expression of their gratitude and respect. Velvet elaborated that this sweet gesture brought tears to her eyes and gave her goosebumps. She felt her body shaking every time she remembered the sanitation worker's presence in front of her house when each of them thanked her personally, held her hands, hugged her and prayed for Charlie, whose generosity and thoughtfulness were unique and precious. Then they took some water bottles and gave a loud beep while they were leaving on the garbage truck as means of showing appreciation and saying goodbye. This story leaves us all speechless. Charlie must have slept very well every night after helping people. Now we are praying for him to rest in peace in his grave. All we have to know is that a good deed could immortalize you. Tell us what you think of Charlie and his wife in the comments.